Hello Scorpio, thank you so much for checking out this reading. This will be a you and them reading. It'll be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not and cannot resonate with everyone watching. Just because you're watching this video does not mean this is your story. So just take what resonates, leave the rest. And if it doesn't resonate with you, check out your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus signs for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate a lot more than your Sun sign. All right, so let's get into it, Scorpio. Spirit for Scorpio, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we need to tell them for love? What do they need to know in regards to love? This will be for those of you who already have someone in mind or in a connection with someone. All right, Spirit for Scorpio. What do they need to know? This is the Ojo Zen Tarot deck. I'm using it as an Oracle deck. All right, so let's get into it. Scorpio. Ooh. Rebirth, breakthrough, laziness. Mind. Ooh, something's up, Scorpio. I feel like there's something so difficult, so confusing, so mind-boggling that you don't want to really deal with it. It's too much work. Maybe someone has been living rent free in your head and you've been too lazy to, to get them out of there. You're having some sort of breakthrough. This, this breakthrough card, this is crazy. Giving you a complete um, new lease, new chapter, clean slate here. And it has to do with your connection. Spirit, give me some insight into the person that Scorpio is dealing with. I feel like some of you, you need this breakthrough because your mind is just consumed with what you haven't been able to complete or get done or what hasn't worked out or what you feel disinterested in. That laziness card reminds me a lot of... Um, Four of Cups, you just don't even care anymore and you don't, that's the feeling I'm getting from it. Like it, it, nothing interests you, nothing inspires you to get up and move. Um, and so it's like, this is all in your, because of your mind, because of what's got happening in your head. This is either you or the person you are dealing with. Spirit, tell me about the person that Scorpio is dealing, dealing with. What other insight can you give us into what they're thinking or feeling at this point? time rabbit so we have someone fearful here an elephant some sort of obstacle an obstacle that the, ele the elephant can get through any obstacle very strong wise energy there with the elephant what else for Scorpio's person It's like they see this mountain in front of them and they're scared. Lamb, this is some sort of message coming to you, Scorpio, or that this person needs to get or send. Someone's opening up here, the oyster at the bottom. So the lamb is all about a spiritual message that's delivered through any means. It could be a stranger. It could be an email. It could be a sign that you see on the street. Um, it's a message that spirit delivers no matter what. Um, the lamb is very sensitive, um, intuitive, spiritual energy. So let's see what else we can get here. For Scorpio, please. I'm going to do a you and them spread. So I'll have you, Scorpio, on one side and your person on the other. Um, feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more. And I will clarify all of them, or most of them. All right, let's get into it. This is the Crow Tarot, which I love so much. Okay, let's start with you, Scorpio. What are your thoughts or feelings, your energies in this connection? For Scorpio. Outer feelings, please. Regarding this connection. Oh, 
Okay, so six of wands reversed. Something that has not worked out. Or someone's not recognizing your efforts. Success is delayed. Victory is delayed. The magician, you're still manifesting something. I feel like you have all of the resources that you need to make something happen. Oh, we got two. Queen of Swords reversed and Nine of Wands. Yikes. I feel like you don't trust somebody here or you're very defensive and guarded against somebody because a lot of things have passed. Um, there could have been a lot of baggage or fighting or it's just very exhausting energy with the Nine of Wands. You could just be tired. Let's see about your person here. Tell me about Scorpio's person, please. What are their thoughts or feelings? What are their energies in this connection? Ten of Swords. That's that Rebirth card. Seven of Pentacles. Two of Swords. So time is, is a factor here. I feel like too much time has passed, time has been wasted, or there has been a bad investment here. And now your person is going through some sort of ending or rebirth here. A cycle is ending for them is what I just heard. Two of swords though, it's like they don't know which, which way to go now. Six of cups reversed and they're stuck in the past. And they're breaking free of the mental prison that they're in. That's that mind card right here. This mental prison. They're coming out of that. So let's see what happened in this connection. What happened in this connection, spirit? What happened in this connection? Eight of Wands reversed. Well, it stopped. Some sort of lack of movement, lack of communication. There's probably very little communication between you and this person. Tell me more, what happened in this connection? What's going on? King of Pentacles. Anything else? Five of Wands. Ace of Pentacles reversed. So you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy um high priest is reversed an opportunity never took place here or a commitment was withdrawn someone's not able to commit or make an offer here a lot of drama or conflict or just too many people involved now this king of pentacles they tend to be very grounded energy. Um, they are steady. So I think there's a king of pentacles, whether male or female, in the middle of a mess. Someone steady and grounded is in the middle of a mess trying to deal with it. So 
So let's get into it. I'm going to clarify with the same deck. Tell me about this Queen of Swords reverse. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy with the Queen of Swords reverse. What happened with this Queen of Swords reverse? Seven of Cups reversed. Well, let me get one more before I say what I'm thinking. Queen of Swords reverse, please. One more. Six of Swords reversed. High Priestess reversed at the bottom again. So it's almost like with the High Priestess reversed at the bottom, this is someone that's speaking up, this Oyster card, speaking up about something that they've kept hidden or something being brought to light, a secret revealed. This Queen of Swords reversed, I feel like they haven't been able to move on they haven't been able to leave a situation. Um, they haven't been able to have their their balance, their stability. And they're very clear about this. Before, they possibly had rose-colored glasses or saw things with a very like optimistic viewpoint. But now, they're realizing that things are not going to happen exactly how they thought it would happen for them. It could be that some sort of secret here. Yeah, there's something there's something being brought to light with some some truth or honesty. Gentlemen, take that outside. Sorry guys, my two dogs are fighting in the back. So I feel like jeez. I feel like there's some truth or something coming out here for this Queen of Swords um energy, and they're gonna have to look at this clearly the fact that they need to possibly take charge of a situation that they haven't acted on you know they've just kind of been standing there guarded not trusting being paranoid being tired exhausted and it's like it's time to do something about it because now it's keeping this person stuck tell me about this nine of wands what's this nine of wands about spirit Seven of Wands reversed. Yeah, you want to give up. You don't want to fight anymore. You're, you're feeling weak. Ooh, Three of Pentacles reversed. Tell me more about this Nine of Wands. You no longer want to face opposition. The Devil. This is a toxic, unhealthy attachment. Capricorn energy that this person finds themselves in. No wonder they're tired. And they're manifesting something new. Yeah, they're dealing with an emotionally manipulative person. Someone who just uses words. No action. Tell me about the magician. What are they manifesting? What are you manifesting, Scorpio? This is you, Scorpio, on this side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip it. What are you trying to manifest? Love, a partnership, two of cups, a true partnership here, and then two of pentacles reversed. I feel like you've made a decision here. Move this up. Yeah, a page of swords. You could already have somebody in mind looking at someone. Um, it could also be that you are wanting to communicate with this person. So let, let's look at your person over here, Scorpio. What's this Ten of Swords about? This is that rebirth. Um, and I'm, I'm mentioning rebirth, even though the Ten of Swords is not really what that card represents. But in the Oracle deck, this is the Ten of Air, which is the Ten of Swords. 
this is a ten of swords and there's a rebirth here or is the card is rebirth so that's why i'm seeing it that way i don't believe in coincidences tell me about the ten of swords Page of Pentacles reversed. What else? Your person might not have the, the resources or they're taking back an offer or an opportunity has is delayed. Let's see. Tell me more about the Ten of Swords. It could be. I just heard that they they haven't been... I don't want to say what I what I was told because I think it sounds okay so they want me to say it so they've been lazy in, in making this ending happen they haven't put in all of the effort necessary they haven't been active when it comes to this rebirth this ending the full there is an opportunity. It, it, they need to take a risk, a leap of faith. It's at the bottom. Queen of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles needs to go after their Queen of Pentacles. But they haven't really... I feel like that's what this choice is about. Tell me about this Two of Swords. This choice is about the past. This, your person, Scorpio, is stuck in the past. They have not let go of the past. I feel like they're thinking of the past when they consider what options to choose here. Tell me about the Two of Swords. The Hierophant. Taurus Energy. This is about a commitment, a contract. Tell me more about the Two of Swords. Ten of Wands reversed. Can I get one more for the Two of Swords? Two of Wands reversed. The decision is between a burden that needs to be dropped and commitment, stability, morals, tradition. Yeah, four of wands at the bottom. This is all about stability, harmony in the home. Your person, I feel like, has to decide this person here has to decide it's almost like you're both in like a toxic situation or both dealing with your own uh, problems your own endings cycles choices you both have choices here i have all of the twos on the board right now so let's see what's this five of wands about what's this conflict about here What's this Five of Wands about? Queen of Wands reversed. So we got a Queen of Wands reversed and a Queen of Swords reversed. Both are very difficult to deal with here. But I feel like you are like that because you're over it. Almost like a protection mode. Queen of Wands reverse, they tend to have very short tempers. Um, they own, they're very like, a, they crave attention or want attention. Um, they do things for attention. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. Tell me more about the Five of Wands. Ace of Swords, another Ace. So someone wants to cut this out. Definitely. Seven of uh, Swords reversed. Someone knows about a situation that 
like like a secret or someone's getting get caught someone knows um and once and it's like it's it's just all this drama they want it out of their life they want to to start over with a clean slate here they have clarity about who's at fault as well maybe in the past they didn't realize who was the one that always was you know like the common denominator when you have problem after problem after problem and you realize that there's always a common denominator as to who is part of the problem instigates the problem tries to be uh, infiltrate the problem metals you know it's always the same person and when you you know it's like this person is recognizing a pattern tell me about this eight of wands reversed And that Ace of Pentacles reverse could also be financial difficulties. The Sun. Tell me more about this Eight of Wands reverse. The lover's reverse. Gemini energy there. So I feel like someone made a bad choice here. They either made a choice, you know, with their head or with their heart. You know, they looked, they, you know, they probably did not think logically or they thought too emotionally, something like that. Um, someone made a difficult or a bad choice about a partnership. Is that's what the lovers is about when it's reverse when it's upright it's about a choice in your partner there could be some sort of breakup here as well or like a like a fracture in a partnership but i'm seeing it as a as a, as a bad choice and i feel like someone was really um how do I explain this? It's it's like it's a feeling that I have when I see the sun. It's it's like someone here because the sun it's all about happiness. Yes, but recently I've been doing like research on. I'm constantly reading things about tarot, and the sun also symbolizes illumination, clarity because the sun is very bright. It grows things. And it, it, it sheds light on every surface, right? When it, when it's up and clear sky, you see everything. Um, so I feel like someone here, this, this sun is not about happiness. It's about clarity. It's about seeing something that was hidden before or everything being like coming to light, you know, like you see the light about this choice. And it's like someone here has cut contact or this bad choice has there's there's hasn't been contact between you and this person because of their bad choice. You know, feel free to flip it if it resonates more. But that's what I see here, that there hasn't been a lot of contact or communication here in this connection between you and this person because someone here made a bad choice and partner and there's probably some sort of interference here. In this King of Pentacles, I feel like they are, like they know. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Pentacles. This is all about freedom, independence, stability, security, confidence. It's like someone wants to, needs to make a different choice. Almost like they, they want to be single or independent. They want to get up from being lazy. Yeah. And they want to do it for themselves. And they possibly want to return to you, Scorpio. Yeah. On their, it's like they're going on a journey of some sort with the, you could be dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini, Capricorn, 
air sign, fire sign, Taurus. You know what I don't see a lot of here? Leo. I don't see a lot of cups. Yeah, I only have, I think, like two cards, three cards about cups. So, you know, it's like, there, like, like there's not a lot of, um, not a lot of love that either your person's experience or that you're experiencing. But I think this is the step, you know, it's like in this connection between you and this person, choices must be made. You definitely are manifesting love. You're manifest manifesting a partnership. And I think it's with this person. You know, you're in a some sort of toxic environment that you're done with. You know, we want to get away from this toxic environment here. And you're upset that you've kind of, your choices have led you to now be delayed in moving on with your life. And then your person over here, it's like they want a new beginning. They want a rebirth. But they don't have the resources or they don't have, um, it's like they, they wonder if too much time has passed, if, if, you know, if this person, if, if they'll be able to ever make this decision here of, of setting down a burden. And I think this has to do with the past. The, your person is stuck on the past. They, it's like, it's like they want a new beginning with the past, but they haven't either. They're starting to make that choice now, or they haven't been able to make that choice. And in here, in this connection, there's been a lot of um, drama that someone wants to cut out and a missed opportunity or financial difficulty or an opportunity that that's not wasn't able to get off the ground here. And, and they made a wrong choice and they see that now. So I feel like that that is the more the most important part is that they see that they have made a wrong choice that they need to take action you know, this ace of swords, this, this is, a, this is a verb. <laughs> this is something that happens, right? This is not like just thinking here. This is communication, clarity, victory, success, cutting out what no longer serves you. All of those things are, you know, it require action. Thank you again, everyone who was liked, shared, subscribed, and commented. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you enjoyed this video, that it resonated with most of you. And hopefully I'll see you in another one. Take care.